today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show using Twitter in ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. And this is the show where every week I take you through how to use software in your church. Primarily, recently, it's been ProPresenter 5, but that doesn't mean it'll be the only software we ever use. So, I'd love to know your questions. Leave them below the video. That's perfectly fine. And if you'd prefer, you can drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P A U L A L A N C L I F. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. I cannot believe it. I, I was just looking over all my uh, tutorials on ProPresenter 5, and I admit I've done a lot of them. But you would think, since I quite literally wrote the book on Twitter for Churches, I would have talked about using Twitter in ProPresenter 5. I don't know how I missed that. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Here we are in Twitter, and the first thing we need to do is we need to click Login. So that's what I'm going to do. That might come up automatically for you. Um, I haven't logged in here yet. It's been a while since I've used this, so we might be learning some stuff. And I expect that it's going to ask me for a verification code. So just a second here while I get that from my mail client. Let's see here. It's this one. Okay, so I'll let you guys Oops, left out a number. Won't work at all if I don't put in all the numbers. There's two sevens right there. Okay, authorize app. There we go. So basically that are brings up this slide and we can do some fun stuff here. Let me clear this over here. Um, let's do a search for a hashtag. So as I'm recording this, we're towards the end of November. We're actually, um, Thanksgiving is later this week. So I'm going to show you the hashtag that I've been using all month long. And my church has been using it as well, so hopefully we'll get some good stuff here. Okay. So we've got this one. That's Oakland, Oakland. Let's see. Okay, this is my friend Shannon. So I'm going to approve her tweet. see how can I do that I know I think I just unapprove the ones I don't want yeah that's good that's good yeah okay so this is one of the pastors at my church this is a friend, and I don't know her, but I would suspect that she's also a member of my church. So we'll do those, and then I need to move them over to approved. So in order to do that, I. Don't click and drag, that's not it. 
Ah, I checked the checkbox. Bam, bam, bam. So there we go. Now what I can do is I can set them up for however long I want. Let's say I want it for 10 seconds each and I hit play. And there we go. So we can see these tweets over here. Told you it had been a while since I've used this and you'll see that it's just cycling through those. Well, there are actually some different templates that I can use. So I can go with this blue default, which looks a little Twitter-like, but I could also go for this dark handwriting. So let me pause that. Maybe if I select all these and put that on there. Maybe I clear the approved. Let's see here. Go back to that. Okay, so once again, we get rid of the ones that we don't want and we approve the ones that we do. And okay, there you go. Now we've got this instead of that. So it looks as though, here, let me remove that too. So it looks as though we can't have any uh, up when I change the template. But you'll notice here that we've got an edit templates. So what if I liked it to a point, but there. So here, this is clearly the Twitter image. I've got that there, which I could delete if I wanted to. This is the screen name. Well, this is the date right there. And here is the Twitter text. Now let's say I don't want the heart. Uh, the, the, that right there, what if instead I go over here and instead of Bradley hand, bold, let's replace it with something better. being a little slow here, which you might expect because I am both recording and doing this live at the same time. So maybe I wanted Arial rounded in T and bold still and apply. You can see that that didn't necessarily like that. So, but I now have the ability to tweak this as I would like to make it look better or worse. And I could even make this look exactly like a Twitter card if I wanted. I could just do a whole lot of stuff here. I could maybe put the background if I was doing a conference at church, things like that. The sky's the limit, but you could really uh, do some great stuff. Now let's go back to the this here. And you'll notice we've got a maximum of 15 tweets. Um, what we can also do is we can ignore the ones that have links, which I had checked, and ignore retweets, which I also had checked. So let's actually do a search and see if that brings up anything else. Okay, let's say I wanted to add that one in. Absolutely do that right there. It's in Idaho. 
gone now. I have a feeling that's someone from my church, so I can add that in. And you can see that I can add these in on the fly. So this is a new one right here. And I can skip around as well. So that's another cool thing. So in addition to using this for like, you know, just showing tweets before service or after service, something else you could do is you could use the hashtag as a voting mechanism. So you could have people have a certain hashtag and that's what you search on, but have them choose one of two things and then you can tabulate the votes using Twitter here and put up some representative votes or whatever and then have another slide where it actually puts up the results. You could also use it for questions. So if I get rid of the clear approve, let's say that this is a question, I could put that up and then bring that live. And then we can go from there. Same thing here. So we could really do this as a cheap way of adding text questions into church. Now, people would have to have Twitter accounts, but other than that, it's a pretty low barrier of entry, and they could even text using text messaging if they have that set up on their account by texting to 40404, which is Twitter's text system. So while this won't be something that every single church uses, it will be something that some do, and it's very helpful. Well, I hope that helped you. As I said in the screencast portion, there are a lot of things that you can do with this from voting to asking questions or just putting up hashtags of what you've been doing through the week. Any of those are perfectly good ways to use this tool as you and your, your church are using ProPresenter 5 to go out and change eternity. If you would like to know more about using Twitter in the church, I'm actually giving away my second book, Tweeting Church, here. I've got a copy of it right here. Um, the electronic version of it. If you go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, you can get a free copy. Just sign up, give me the email address to send it to, so make sure it's a real email address, because if you give me a fake one, I can't send it to you. You see how that works? Because I'm going to send it to you. So uh, give me an email address, and uh, I'll get that straight to you. It's an automated process. No problem whatsoever. Again, that's trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. So until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.